Live from Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 5. Other news tonight and a candidate for governor's controversial proposal, legislation that would not force home builders to install a life-saving feature. NBC5 Phil Rogers joins us with more. Phil. You know what, Bob, this was probably the most rapid change in a piece of legislation we have ever seen. First, a senator introduced a bill, then firemen criticized it. We asked about it, and he changed it. Firefighters will be the first to insist that fire sprinklers save lives. We haven't had a fatality in Long Grove since we had sprinklers in the homes. North suburban Long Grove was the first of what are now 56 Illinois fire districts that require fire sprinklers in new homes. They say often fires in those homes are out or at least controlled by the time firefighters arrive. Once a fire starts, it, they grow exponentially. They grow very rapidly. And so the quicker you can get water on the fire, the more effective the firefighting is. But the fire community was hopping mad when they learned that State Senator Bill Brady, a candidate for governor and a home builder himself, had introduced a bill which would prohibit communities from requiring sprinklers. Many of them accused Brady of only trying to protect his own industry. That would seem to me to be somewhat of a conflict of interest. We don't want to go back in codes. We would rather go forward. Last evening, we requested an interview with Senator Brady to explain why Illinois communities shouldn't be allowed to require fire sprinklers in homes. He agreed to the interview, but then he changed his bill this morning. As a builder uh, and developer, I know that it's important uh, that we provide affordable housing uh, to people throughout the state. Today, Senator Brady amended his own bill to allow local communities to vote on whether sprinklers should be required. If someone wants to have a sprinkler system and a municipality wants to require it by a vote, they should be able to do so. I don't think it should be mandated as part of some national agenda. Many in the fire communities say they don't understand opposition to any home enhancement that saves lives. Oh, it's a no-brainer. Now, there are estimates that a fire sprinkler adds about $1.80 a square foot to the cost of a house. They compare it to putting in upgraded carpeting or better countertops. It can also cut down on insurance premiums. Brady says, by the way, on that conflict of interest accusation that he is not conflicted. He is knowledgeable about the home building issue. We checked in with the firefighting community this afternoon. They said they are very happy to see the change in the way the bill is written. He had a change of heart then. Apparently so. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Phil.